So today we are going to be rendering this raw unprocessed beeswax into beautiful golden goodness. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is put all of this raw beeswax into this pot and we're gonna get it boiling with some water. This just smells so incredible. This is some beeswax from a small scale beekeeper down in Pennsylvania. My parents actually picked it up for me because they are so supportive. And just look at that, just so gorgeous. Thank you bees and thank you nectar from beautiful flowers that provide bees with what they need to create this gorgeous goodness it's just so amazing so we pretty much add everything possible as you can see there's still a bunch of honey at the bottom I guess a bunch of honey on my hands but yeah. that's okay look at that I guess I'm beautiful okay so now we have this big ass pot of raw honey on the stove and i'm gonna add water and we are going to turn the flame on start melting all of the beeswax but just to show you yesterday i just melted a chunk of wax the same way you saw me just do but on a smaller scale just to see what the beeswax would look like I didn't filter it, so obviously it's still very dirty, but um, just look at that golden color. And that's the color of the wax we're going to have at the end. And that is so amazing! It even looks more yellow on camera than it actually is. So we're going to add that all in since it needs to be strained. Just about at the hour and a half mark since starting to heat this up. As you can see, it has melted greatly. We don't want to get it to a boil, but seeing some bubbles come up would be great so that we know it's hot throughout. So we're going to start to get ready to pour. So I've got our pouring pot, some jute twine and scissors, and I'm going to tightly tie this around so that we can pour in let's see so using the jute twine i tied around probably about five or six times as tight as i could possibly go and then just secured it with a little hitch knot and this is where we will be pouring hey guys kelly here so i'm about to take out the huge pot of beeswax and water that i've been melting pour it over into another pail so that we could strain it hopefully it works well this will be the biggest batch i've ever done like this so fingers crossed everything's an experiment and an experience that i'm so thankful for let's go I poured it, the cheesecloth didn't break. Thank goodness. So here we have a whole shit ton of raw unprocessed beeswax, poured over cheesecloth, straining. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. I'll probably go grab something to mix it, help get that liquid from the top through all the gook onto the bottom, but I am so freaking excited. I could already see that gorgeous golden color of wax on the edges. <sighs> I love this shit. <laughs> so I just got a chopstick and I'm just going to kind of stir here in the middle, hoping it allows some drainage down into the underneath. So right now, I grabbed the leftovers from that first straining, threw them in a pot with water, 
And we are gonna do the same thing over again. So we're gonna strain it again. I've gone ahead and covered a pot with cheesecloth. This is what we'll pour it for when the wax is melted. Strainer. Let's go in for round two. Last night I poured the beeswax into these molds, being careful to not get any of the sediment at the bottom inside these squares. And now we're gonna be flipping them and inspecting them, but they look pretty damn clean. Let's check it out. It doesn't really get better than this. I mean, that is an absolutely gorgeous golden color from murky, yucky, gross, raw honeycomb to golden goodness that will be utilized for herbal salves, maybe some candles, and just to appreciate. Thank you, honeybees. Thank you, beekeepers. Thank you, nature. Rare, rare.